Wow, I don't think I wasn't expecting to do this vlog today, but let's do it. Hey everyone, what is up Louis Vlogs and Games? Hey, welcome back to another new video on the channel. Welcome to the 107th episode of the vlog series. That is a lot. Anyways, we're doing something different today and I thought I'd do a vlog of it because, sure, we're going to be going to Dobson's Amusement Fun Fair down in Wivell. The company said I could come down and do a vlog, so I thought I'd do that. Bring the family down, take the two brothers on a few rides. Uh, anyways, let's get our way over to Wivel now and we'll get the party started. And we've made it to Wivel now. We're going to be walking our way over to the National Park where they will have the Dobson's Fun Fair in the park so we're just going to currently make our way now to the park and we will meet you there in just a moment to see what rides i have on offer seeing quite a few signs around here so we're just currently going down the main road to wardsville park itself i can hear a couple of screaming around here just bearing in mind that this is the last day here for this company here doing the rides and stuff after that they'll be gone tomorrow going to a new location where they will have more rides there. Making our way into the entrance Whippy. of Wibble Park and we can already see the fair and Mr Whippy making its appearance for the ice cream. <laughs> Alright then, just trying to get our tickets now. Got them. And now we're getting ready to ride on some few rides. You ready for it? Yeah. yeah. Yes, let's start it off. So let's have a look around and see what Dobson's Amusements has to offer. There is plenty of rides for the young ones that they can enjoy on. So we got the Super Trooper ride right here for the young ones and over here is one of the best rides that we've had at the fairground and I've been on it, stay tuned for this video to come out, called the Dance and Smile Ride. Uh, I wouldn't have been smiling on that, I was freaking out. Wait until you see my reaction. Over here we have some little cars and trucks here, a little ride here for the kids to enjoy. Then we get to the Huck and Duck where you can try Huck and Duck and try to win yourself a fantastic prize whenever it could be a plush or anything that you can have. Right next to the Huck and Duck we have the Fun House. Going a little further down we can see the trampolines and blimey this was busy. There is no denying it that the queues were quite big. And over here we've got the merry-go-round equipped with a few cars, fire engines and buses all on once. And behind it is the teacup ride. And just opposite the fair itself, you'll find the inflatable bouncy castles and slides. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the action with the rides. And we're starting off with the bumper cars with a set at the end. This is a nice little mini ride that the kids can enjoy. I couldn't go on this because my I'm too skinny, obviously. And we're now here at our next ride, which is the Super Mini Trooper. I decided to go on this with the brothers as well. So let's jump on and have a nice little ride about. And here's the POV on my GoPro. I managed to get a couple of clips on my GoPro as well. So I'm expecting to add a bit of extra priority to this vlog. After we just got off that ride, we noticed a T-Rex going around the fair, so we decided to go check it out and see what it's going on with. And it seems like the T-Rex is hungry for an ice cream. Well, I don't think any of us was expecting a T-Rex to get some ice cream from Mr Whippy. But there was no ice cream for the T-Rex and not to mention the fact that the dinosaur was also whacking its tail in front of people's faces. Uh, I think it's now time for us to get ready to ride the best ride here at Dobson's Amusement which is the Dance and Smile. You may have seen these rides at many other theme parks uh, and there is no lying in this. This was the first time I've actually been on this ride uh, and it it went well, you could say that. Wow. <laughs> 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 
And this is where the ride stopped. I thought it was over, but we're just about to go back to the opposite direction. Be careful with the GoPro. I can see that your fingers are getting rather loose on them. Lowen did say he wet himself on that ride, so fair play to him. Anyways, we're now going to move on to the fun house now, just to calm things down a little bit. And don't get me started on the hamster wheel. Like, seriously, we were on this for like 30 seconds just trying to run on the hamster wheel. Lowen is filming a little bit of this action this time, so let's see how we get through this fun house. Sorry for all the shaking in this video. I know Lowen isn't the greatest at this and couldn't hold the camera still. Oh, <laughs> and we made it to the end of the journey for our funhouse experience. Moving on to the next ride now. The next ride for the two little brothers will be this runaway train roller coaster. And here's the POV on the GoPro, recorded by Lowen again, sure. <laughs> I remember that. I remember this laugh all the time. It always gives me the giggles when I hear it. Ah, good old memories hearing that baby laugh. I always get the giggles. Uh. Afterwards, we got off, we found a T-Rex puppet. Right, I believe it's now time to buy some refreshments. There's a few food stands around the park, like burger stands and of course, fresh donuts, uh, which you can also get cold cans, slushies and flosses. We'll just order this and then we'll go to our picnic area and eat. Right then, just, um, we're just getting a couple of snacks now while we're here. Just taking a little bit of a break from the fair for a bit, but we'll go back in just, just a couple of minutes and do a couple more rides and then we will be finished. By the meantime, I've got a donut here, yeah? It's rather hot, isn't it? Marla's got his as well. Uh, I'll eat mine in a sec because this is rather warm. I'll wait for it to warm down in a minute and then I'll eat it. Not only me and Marla got donuts, Lowen also brought a flosser. Also shared it with a few of us, which, in my opinion, it tastes all right. I let my donut warm down for a minute and looks like it's now good to eat. I took a couple of bites and it it was really good actually. So, just had our donut now. That was very delicious indeed. We're going to head back into the fair now, do a couple more rides, and then our experience here will be over. Just before we head straight back in, we're going to try out this challenge where we have to score a goal in three shots to win a prize. Uh, which is football shirts uh, with any supportive team that you like. Uh, just hope Lowen isn't a Villa supporter, so he goes for Aston Villa. But we already have a lot of Liverpool shirts, though. No denying in that. What was that? Well, bad luck. Let's continue. We're back in the main amusement park now and we're going to try Huck a Duck to win a prize. That's it. And looks like Milo has hooked a duck. Now let's see what prize he is going to choose. What's the one? You want the archery one? Prize confirmed. Let's see what Milo has got. And this is what he's got for hugging a dock. An archery set. What a very interesting prize you've got right there. I believe it's now time for our final ride here at Dobson's Amusements, and that is the teacup ride. This will be our final ride until our time here is up. Lowen is holding the GoPro as well.
And there goes the teacup spinning around more crazier. And that, unfortunately, was our last ride done. And that does mean that our time here at Dobson's Amusement is over. Now it's time to go through what we like the most. We have it there. We finished off with our experience here at the fairground. We've been on all the rides. Uh, did you all have a good time? Yeah. What ride did you like the most? So the one that goes up and down and spins around. Milo, what do you like yours the most? Train and the donut. Donuts. To be, uh, to be honest here, I really do like the um the up and down ride. I, that was the first time I've been on that. It freaked me out a little bit. Had, had a lot of time having fun on it. Uh, what an experience. And it's really it's a good place to take the kids for the day, spend a couple of quid, enjoy the action as it had there. It's a nice park, uh, and I would strongly recommend going back next time. So, now that we're finished, we're going to wrap up today's video here. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all have enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. Until next time, bye guys. See ya.